let's talk about the people feature. If you start completely afresh with a new photos library and you haven't used photos at all before and you then go on your people feature here, this is what you get. You will get that message that it will scan people. So what it's going to do, it's going to scan your library for faces. Once your photos library is done with scanning your library for faces and finding people, you will get something that will look like this. Now, you most probably have thousands of photos in your library and you will get many, many more faces that come up. What can you do from here? Let's have a look at names first. So at the moment, these people don't have any name, of course. Now, let's start with that one. That's myself. So I'm going to give it my name. There we go. We've already got a suggestion and it comes up. That way I can go through. So there's the dog. There we go. This is child one. That's how I can add name. And sometimes it comes up with additional photos that it wants you to confirm. And again, if you've got thousands in your library, you've got a whole big list here and sometimes it goes through several pages. So now I can say, yes, that's the same child and I say done. And this is how the program will learn. It will become more and more intelligent over time. How else can you add a name to a person? I can double click on someone and I can go and add the name here. Go. And you can use more than one word, so you could have first name and last name. That's totally up to you. So it has added the name, done. There we go. And it pops up here. Now when I go back here, I can see the name here. Next up, I like to use the favorite feature. So when you've got people, usually that's your core family or maybe a pet like here, you can simply love heart them and they are your favorite people. They come on top. They are take, taken out of that whole big list that you will end up with and they're going to be shown first as your favorites. Another thing you can do straight away from here is I know that this is the same person as this. So you can simply drag that image over that one, let go, and it will ask you, is that the same person? Yes. And now it's been added. That's the same person as well. There we go. Yes, same. And when I now go into that image and have a look at the pictures here, the photos, I can see that this one and this one, they've been added here. I can also find additional photos. So by going on confirm additional photos, it will go through the library and this is happening very fast and it will find the same person. Sometimes it's not the right one. So then you would just simply say no. You cannot say who it is instead. It's only a yes or a no. So this is the right person. Yes. And did you see what happened here? Straight away, 10 photos have been added. And yes, that's the same. 20 have been added up so far. Yes. So 24 photos have been found and that was a matter of seconds. This is why I like this feature so much, especially when you're starting out. This is a fast and fun way to add information to your files and to enrich your photos with information. So I'll go and done. And now it's got many more photos that have been added to this person. Now what happens if I don't want someone as a person popping up in my people album? Simply right click on one of them, remove this person and it's gone. Remove from the album. There we go. She's gone. Now the photo itself is still in the library, of course, but not the face. Next up, we sometimes get the question to review more photos. So when I go in here, double click, you might get that question. 
because it's already found more photos so yes I want to review and it will pop up like that and yes this is the person if it's not you simply untick the box so tick done and this is again how the program looms and then I could even go down here confirm additional faces yes found two new photos that's it again if you've got thousands this will be so much fun because it's not going to be just two photos it's usually like hundreds that it adds within matters of seconds and this is really really fast so what else can I do in the people album when I go into a person it will start a little slideshow automatically and here we've got the photos view and the face view so if I click on face it will just show the face of that person if I click on photos it will show me the entire photo then it will show me more people that are in these photos and it will also show me the places of course this will only happen when you've used the location feature in this case there were no related photos found so sometimes it shows memories that it creates automatically and you can confirm additional photos unfavorite this person remove the person or add to memories so these are the things you can do in your people album as you can imagine it will not pick up every face so how can I add that information manually when I'm in photos let's go find a photo let's take this one when I click on command I I get the information about it and I can see there is no metadata really um, in terms of keywords or faces it doesn't even recognize that there is a face so what do I do with that I double click on the photo to open it up and now I get that option to add a face so click on that and drag on that little dot there make it bigger and smaller you can move it just drag and drop it and then you can click a name there we go and now you can see that little icon that has popped up here too and the person has been added now if I go to the people album and double click in here here is the photo even though it couldn't recognize a face automatically that's how you can do that manually another way to do it which I particularly like when I have imported new photos to my library I immediately go back to that import and then I call I add keywords I favor photos and so on and I go through the people so what you can do then if you double click to make it bigger it will come up like that and this has been unnamed yet so I will give that a name this is child it's a new one next one and you will see it has recognized that there is a face but not who so I'll give that a name and I know this is not the same child but I will use the same name there we go girl again when you go back to the people you will now find these people in here there we go these two photos before I go I want to show you a workaround how you can embed the name information into your photo because the thing is this when you take a photo out of your photos library if you export it or, or if you ever decide you don't want to use photo library anymore and you take everything out you will lose the people information because this is not embedded in your file it only works as long as you use photos library now my little trick and workaround for that is because you can embed keywords when you export your photos we need to make the name a keyword because this hasn't happened when I look here let's take that photo there is my name but command I there is no keyword so I lose the information when I export the file 
my workaround is that let's close that I go to the photos of a person so I would search for that name and I can see there is that little icon that means that's the people so there is 128 so I click on that and then I go see all and in all of these photos the person has been added so what I do is simply command A to select all command I to get the info window and without even looking here what I've already got in terms of keyword I simply add the keyword and I always use full names not just first names return on my keyboard and now it has added that keyword to all of these 100 plus photos also a little um, hint here if a keyword is in black if you've selected multiple photos that means that this keyword is attached to all of the selected photos those that are grayed out that means they are on some or at least one of the selected photos but not on all of them but I want that to be black because I need it to be on all the photos so that's done and when I look now and go command I again I can see that there is that keyword and when I now export that photo that will come with it and that's your little workaround and of course you don't have to do that all the time but maybe once or twice a year and you've got it done and if you add that keyword to photos that already has the keyword it doesn't matter it doesn't duplicate the keyword it's just gonna sit there so it's a matter of a few seconds to go through at least your most important people and to add their name as a keyword that's all for today for the people features so have fun with that and see you next time